Hello, welcome back to Dead Man Reborn. I don't even know if this video is going up. Maybe you guys hated the first one and told me, please, God, never upload another one of these. But if it does happen to make it onto YouTube, welcome back. And we are going to go for a Dragon Defender right now. If it doesn't go well, I'm going to wait till the next combat bracket so I can have an hour of immunity. But my hopes are, since it's midnight, not a bunch of people will be camping at the Warriors Guild. I could be terribly mistaken. Okay, we've got 500 tokens here. I'm going to put the myth uh, stuff in the bank so I have more room for food and maybe a prayer potion in case I get lazy and don't want to keep flicking because my wrist is starting to hurt, to be honest. But let's see how far we can get into the Dragon Defender grind. Is this a person that died? Yeah, there's a dude up there with full air and skull attacking people, so I guess I'm waiting till later to get the Defender. Okay, well, that was short-lived. We came back and got a Bronze Defender at one kill count. This game's just too easy. Iron Defender. This is a dude going up and down the stairs getting barraged. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna boink. I'm just trying to eat a bowl of rice right now and train up in a safe area. But look, we just got another Sigil drop. Pay 30 Slayer points to choose your own Slayer task. It's the morning of the next day, and I figure it's probably a little bit less active here, so now we're gonna try and get that Dragon Defender again. You know, if we get attacked a bunch, I'll just leave again. You know, this place does get ragged a lot. But hey, Steel Defender, after like five minutes, not bad. And there is level 80 attack. Time to switch over to defensive. We're almost into the final combat bracket. I am terrified to get into here, because in the bracket I'm in right now, I'm seeing a ton of people with... VLS's, Zerial staff, and like full Arams and stuff like that, PKing everywhere. So I'm hoping maybe the next level bracket doesn't have a ton of PK because let's see how many people are in it. Yeah, there's still only like 20 or 30 people per world in these last brackets, so maybe I'll be able to get away with more stuff there. All right, Crystalia, finally, 82 green dragons. I'm starting to like this lady. And it's our fifth task, so we will actually get Slayer points starting now, which is nice. Hey, there's our fifth Wildy Slayer task done. 25 Slayer points. I mean, these do give a lot of Slayer points. Now I'm going to be getting 25 per task but like I don't know man it's pretty safe out there so I could keep training my combat but I need to make some money so I think once we get to the next level bracket I might just hop straight on over to doing barrows because I imagine all the barrows equipment is pretty expensive right now so if we could get like a couple million gold upgrade our gear maybe get our hands on like an abyssal whip or a trident or something like that then we'd be slaying decided to sell off some of my relics before we get into the next bracket because we're gonna need some cash if i want to do barrows last recall relic sold for 350k prosperity sold for just over 200k and i cannot sell the slayer relic that gives you the choice to choose your slayer task i guess I guess people don't really like that. I don't know. I don't really have an explanation. But we've got almost 600,000 gold. I don't know how much like a trident costs. If I wanted to go to Barrows and I got a trident, that would be amazing. But it might be like a million something gold right now. There's only a few people that can kill Kraken at the moment. Oh my god, I got a front row seat to the event of the century. I could see skill specs PKing somebody. Oh, this is beautiful. Here we go, another Slayer task done. And this is the last one I'm going to be able to do in this bracket. As you can see, I need one attack, strength, defense, or HP level. And I was trying to switch styles so I wouldn't get it, but we're like one hit away from all of these levels, so I had to switch over to range for the last two kills. But yeah, there we go. We're about to enter the 101 combat bracket. I want to go get my gear prepared to head over to Barrows before we go into the bracket. I want to make as much use out of that hour of protection that I have. Okay, I think I'm ready to go to the next bracket. I was worried I wasn't able to buy Barrows tabs, and I bought one for 50k, and I was like, oh well, I'm screwed. But now they're buying for 10k, so I've got myself 22 Barrows tabs. And I switched over to the Sigil of the Menacing Mage, since we are going to be casting Fire Wave for this one, and uh, I think we could do a pretty good amount of Barrows in an hour while we're protected, so hopefully this will be good enough. Anyways, here we go. Let's get ourselves the last XP we need to get to the next bracket. I think Defense is my close. No, sorry. Strength is my closest. Let's slash this guy right here. Come on. One more hit and boom. 101 combat level. I can't fight back now because my combat level is too high for this world. So now I can finally hop in right once we get in there. We're jumping to Barrows. I'm hoping we can complete like 10 in an hour maybe. It probably won't be that fast with Fire Wave though. All right. First Barrows chest with 4x drop rates. Oh, we get Crush Nest, Limpwort Roots, and of course the Runes, which will add quite a bit of value. Oh, I should have my looting bag open, but you know, yeah. That is pretty nice, uh, and then I think I'm just going to tally to Lumbridge after every trip so that I can run over to the Lumbridge altar and restore my prayer, and then bank, you know, get some more supplies because I forgot a stamina, so that trip was extremely scuffed, and then we'll get back at it. Oh my god, there we go, Carol's Leather Top, that's exactly the kind of stuff we are looking for from here, and 9 Super Restores, oh, that's so good. Uh, I want to go straight to the GE and try to sell it. And maybe we'll be able to nav ourselves a trident because that would speed up these barrels run so fast. Okay, that is awesome. 
Oh, a Torag's Helm. That might be okay. And we got a Supply Drop as well. Wow, we're getting Supply Drops every single time we get a Barrow's Drop. That's so interesting. And I think I'm actually just going to rush through the tunnels because I only have, like, oh, gee, I have to change my... I have to change my game client layout. You might notice that it doesn't show my protection time or my wieldy level when I'm in this layout. And I don't know why Jagex hates us people who love using uh, the resizable classic layout. But I only have 24 minutes of protection, and I want to loot as many Barrow's Chests as possible before that time is up. So I'm just bum-rushing the chest. Oh, oh, no, dude. That's probably worth, like, nothing, right? Arab staff? I mean, maybe. So, this thing just sells for nothing. Apparently, it's just terrible. Ancient staff might actually be better. So, I'm just going to alk the Aram staff. It's like 50k. I mean, that's <laughs> something, I guess. And I've put the other items I got into my deposit box. Oh, <laughs> dude, no way. Another K top. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I can hear it all. You putting it in the comments. Oh, YouTube luck. No, oh, my fan's on. I'm turning around. You guys can't hear that. Guthin's helmet. Uh, probably also not worth too much. The uh, Torex helm wasn't even selling for like 200k. So I'm gonna guess Guthin's helm is in the same boat, unfortunately. But hey, it's another item. All right, I sold one of the K tops finally. If only 800k. I thought it'd be worth more, but I guess the prices for things are going back down right now. Uh, 800k is really good though, and I still have the other K top. I might save it, but at the same time, if I could sell it and I'd have 1.6 mil, I could probably get some pretty insane gear put out of that. But I'm, I'm torn if I want to keep doing barrels right now because the prices of everything's going down. The only things that are going to be super worth it is like carols and arams. Everything else is going to be worth probably not much by now. All right, I'm just bl I sold the other K top for uh, like almost yeah 900k. I sold the D Sims, I had the deposit box, and I'm getting us a few upgrades. We got the Darox plate legs and the dragon boots, so we're a little tankier. I thought about just wearing the K top, but honestly, it only gives marginally more defense, so it's like, eh, whatever, and I'm gonna sell these back. And I don't think I have enough for a whip, but if I do happen to have enough gold for a whip, I will go ahead and try to buy one. Oh, and I bought this sigil right here, the sigil of stamina. It basically makes us you're permanently under the effects of a stamina potion, which I just think is I should probably should have gotten this like so much earlier. It's gonna be great if I do any more. More questing if I'm running from stuff and I've just seriously been chucking through stamina as the whole dead man mode so this is gonna be awesome well I'm honestly lost on what to do right now so I'm gonna go back to wildy slayer magic axes are you serious right now <laughs> so I need to get a lock pick and I need to just sit in the deep wildy house and kill magic axes I did not know that was a task. That's the worst one I've gotten so far. Okay, maybe not the worst task of all time. We just got ourselves a tier 5 emblem and a tier 1 emblem and Cadentines. So, uh, yeah, I guess I need to drop these sharks. Let's take these emblems. Okay, nice. I don't know how many points a tier 5 is, but... It should be a lot more than I've been getting from the tier 1s. Maybe the magic axes are not the worst task I've ever gotten. Plus, they only have like 40 health, so this task will go by super fast, and I'll get a lot of points for it, at the very least. Magic axe task was actually good. Look at that. The tier 5, 3 tier 1s. I mean, not bad at all. And now I'm going to use my two Larens keys while we're here. Diamonds is actually really good. Those are probably worth a good bit. And 137k in straight cash. Oh man, those are some good keys. I bet diamonds are going to be expensive because diamond bolts, I assume, are in high demand. All right, let's see how much the tier 5 and 2 tier 3s gets me. 1.8 mil. So it was 1.5 mil for the tier 5. Holy smokes. I don't even know what to buy. I just did some price checks. How much is the ranging pot? Yeah, I think prayer potions are still the most GP per point, and it's a little risky to buy stuff in Edgeville right now, but I am going to go for it, and it's going to take so long, so I'm going to deposit everything I have except for this, and if I see another player, no, I should get out of bank tab, or a telly tab, if I see another player, I'm just going to telly out. Alright, I finished buying it, look at that prayer potion stack, I got 600 prayer pots from that and i just sold a prayer potion a second ago to check the price it was 14.75 so we're gonna try to sell all of these for uh i don't know why it took out all my prayer potions or no it didn't i just okay i'm gonna try to sell all of these for about 1400 each and if it takes a minute that's fine let's just see do they insta sell no okay let's leave them in for like 1400 for a bit and see what happens oh my god it finally bought yes we've got an abyssal whip my friends look at this I, mean, I kind of don't want to equip it at the bank. There's a lot of people here. But we've got an Abyssal Whip. That is a plus 16 melee strength. That's like 4 max hits, I think. And then the huge 15 accuracy bonus. This thing is beastly. And another upgrade I think I should probably get is like an Amulet of Glory. I don't know if anyone has Charge Glories yet. That's probably not really a thing. But I could get an Amulet of Glory. That'll give me plus 10 accuracy. I will lose 4 max strength. But I also get Prayer Bonus. So... I think it's probably worth it. I don't know exactly how much glories go for right now. Probably around 100k if I had to guess. 30k. 
Okay, I was gravely mistaken. So yeah, even though we're losing four melee strength, I think overall it's going to be worth it. And this Abyssal Whip, oh my lord. I'm so excited to use this on our next task. Hey, we got another Sigil, the Sigil of Garments. What does this do? It, uh, you always have the set effects of all skilling outfit. Uh, I would literally take any other Sigil over that one. I'm genuinely considering just alking this. How much does it alk for? 12k? That's probably more than it sells for in the GE. Alright, we sold the Sigil of Garments. It, you can't alk it, I tried it. 6300 gold, we made bank. Okay, I've made a huge mistake. Don't make the same mistake. If you want to go my route and train Slayer, get this Sigil. It's selling for just under 300k. And look at this. It gives 50% more XP in Fire Making, Fishing, Herb Lore, and Slayer! I did not realize they'd have a Sigil that gives bonus Slayer XP. So, unfortunately for now, I'm going to turn off my Stamina Sigil. And I'm going to replace it oh, on a tune. On a tune, I can do this. And replace it with the Barbarian Sigil because 50% extra Slayer XP is going to be absolutely massive. And our 10th Wildy Slayer task is done, giving us 125 points. We got 250 Slayer points. Wow, that's pretty nice, actually. Um, The only problem is... I don't know, this is really slow Slayer XP overall compared to like normal creatures, so I kind of want to swap over to doing normal Slayer, although checking out a couple people's streams, they get attacked a lot. Aha, uh -huh, very funny video game, Sigil of the Serpent, you guys want to know what this one does? It makes you uh, cured of venom and poison, and for one minute you're immune, and it has a three minute cooldown. I guarantee I will not be able to sell this thing for any more than like 1k. This might be the first supply drop I've gotten where I went, wow that's pretty good, 433 blood runes, 126 cooked caramblons. Not bad, dude. I'll take it. Okay, literally back to back, we get another supply drop, which has 32 Taurus Dolls, ha, and a tier 5 emblem. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have, like, over 3 million points for the, uh, or, sorry, like, 30 million points for the shop, or 3 mil- I don't remember how the points work. We have a lot of points. Oh my god, dude, look at this. Are you kidding me? We're rich? Alright, I traded in all my emblems and points, got 3 million points, bought a thousand prayer potions. Yeah, they're going for 1150 right now, so I guess I'll put it in for, you know, we'll just we'll just totally jip this guy. I'll put it in for 1149, he's gonna hate me so much. But that's 1.15 mil in prayer potions from just a couple Wildy Slayer tests. So seriously, if you're doing dead man mode and you're short for cash, you can do a couple Wildy Slayer tests, you'll get a ton of emblems. And you trade those in, and boom, kind of rich. And this is the part where I'm sad to say that I am extremely burnt on dead man mode. I've literally played it like 12 plus hours a day for the past three days, and I think I'm just going to take a break from it. I might come back to it in a couple days or a week if I'm still enjoying it, or if it's even at all populated. It might be completely dead by then. But I swapped all the GP that we had, and we got about 80 million gold OSRS from it. So I'd say that was a pretty successful three days of playing. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Like I said, I might come back if it's at all interesting. Maybe I'll go to try and play in the 1v1s. I'm not very good at PKing, but hey, that would kind of make it a little bit more fun to watch, right? Anyways, thanks for watching the videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.